Why do we need the garage door open? <laughs> it snowed again, right? Go, 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 go. Run over there, get your shovel. <clears throat> Hard to probably see this, and I think the exposure, there we go. I think the exposure is picking it up now. We've actually got a little bit of drifting here. It's probably a foot or so deep. Well, two feet deep. So one of us is going to struggle to shovel here. But it is, it's pretty soft stuff, pretty fluffy, pretty powdery. And the accumulation has uh, slowed down at this point. So we're just going to go through and I'm going to run the snowblower. And I will say this, I like the snowblower. It's, it's, it is what it is, but it's small, bogs down pretty easy. You don't want me to? Oh, he wants me to turn it on. So I like the fact that it is electric start. I like the fact that it's a snowblower. I mean, it's way better than anything I was doing shoveling, but I, I want to get something that is, I guess a five horse. You know, if I could get something that's more like an eight or a 10 horse, it's just got a bigger mouth on it. That'll just chew through more snow. Not that this happens every single day of the week. It's just like when it does happen, I would rather have the tool that can do more than in this scenario, the tool that just can barely get it done. So, are you ready to get going here? Daddy, can you put the snowblower on? Okay, we'll get the snowblower going and let's see, uh, let's see how it handles all this. I mean, you could clearly see, I just tried running it through that full depth. Now, part of, part of the issue is that, I'm not sure how deep that is. That's, looks like it's knee deep. Oh, all the neighbors have got their snow blowers out right now. And are doing things. But, I mean, granted, it gets kind of deep, but the snow isn't super heavy, so it's frustrating that that thing gets bogged down. We're gonna, I'm gonna keep soldiering on here and uh, see how long it takes me to clear just this swath right here. My, my biggest concern is I can't find my gas tank, like our fuel tank that I've got. I can't take it. I just don't know how quickly I'm running through what I've got. Well, that didn't take very long to run out of fuel. I don't think I got a gas can in my truck here. So what I am thinking is trying to figure out an appropriate container. Because we got plenty of fuel here. I just need to siphon it out of whatever vehicle is sitting here. I just filled up the truck, so that's definitely full. So. I think what I'll do is I'll go get a gallon jug from inside and uh, figure out how to siphon that out. I'm gonna have to find some tubing, but I got a bunch of old, old garden hose sitting around here that I can use. So um, neighbors are out doing their thing. Jackson is shoving sticks into the snow, which is not good. I'm sure I'll hit that later on with the snow blower, but yeah, let's see what we can figure out here. Things just got exponentially easier, easier. I found that the painter had thrown one of his drop cloths over the top of my fuel tank. Now the downside is this doesn't have a whole lot of fuel in it. The upside is, is that I can, you know, siphon into this if I'm gonna siphon it. So.
Now we just need to figure out how to get more gas into this. Nothing in it. Okay, let's figure that out. Okay, so I found some garden hose. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut a length of that loose. And I'm gonna use that enough where I can set that on the ground. Maybe down in here. Boy, if I screw it up, I can always come back and take another chunk out of this $10 hose. All right, let's go see if we can't siphon some gas from the old truck. All right, so full disclosure, I've never siphoned <laughs> gas out of anything. I'm probably just doing this to do this. More neighbors are out driving around with their trucks. All we gotta do is, all we gotta do is get out of the driveway and then I think we we'll pretty much go wherever we want. So anyway, I'm just gonna try to pull fuel up this hose. Can get it, you know, to a point where. I don't know how long that line is. Not getting into anything though. Shoot, that goes quite a ways back in there. And it comes right off a of 90, goes straight down into the tank. Hey. What? Yeah, that's only that much. I need to go further than that. I need a skinnier hose. It's oh, more pliable. It drips. It drips, Dad. Well, it drips. It drips or works? It drips. No. I'm not gonna be able to do it there. Let's go look at the, uh, I need like a skinnier hose. Cause that's just about the same size as the delivery line for the fuel line. I don't know why I thought it would be like short, short route to the, to the fuel tank. All right, well, I'm an amateur, so let's try it again. And again, like I should be able to see how long this takes to get down to the fuel line. Might be in trouble here, it's the same scenario. Oh, even worse. Tighter bend right off the bat. Maybe I'm gonna take this and warm this up. See if I can't get this to be more pliable. Close it. Maybe we'll do that.
many 90s, too many bends trying to get to that post too fast. So my neighbor across the street, who is still snow blowing his lawn, noticed that I was out here shoveling. And part of the reason I was shoveling is I, I need the ability to get I need the ability to get out of the garage here and, and go to the hospital. Wife wants to have a baby here in the next week. So any day could be the day. But a neighbor across the street noticed that I was shoveling and he's out there running his snowblower, which is not woefully underpowered like mine, which makes me regret what I bought. But he came over and just said, do you mind if I snowblow your driveway for you? And I said, no. I mean, that's part of the reason that I theoretically moved here is that neighbors kind of help each other out. Don't hesitate to come talk to each other. So that was pretty nice. So shout out to Alex, I believe his name is. I'm terrible with names, so figure it out. But he's got his son out there playing in the snow with him as well and put some fuel in the snow blower. So I am going to knock off the rest of this that I can and then I'm gonna go try and see if I can drive. Uh, maybe go pick up some fuel, just get out, see what the roads are like, scout a little bit. So, cool. Thumbs up for neighbors who are kind. Something stuck in the drive here for the wheels. I'm going to pull that. This will not release at all. So that, that there isn't stuck. This is the actual drive to engage the wheels, not to engage the wheels, but somewhere with the cabling. Something is stuck. And I can't feel it pulling on that there. It's gotta be high up. So cable comes all the way down here, traces from here. Broke loose. Okay. That's what the driveway looks like. There's my neighbor over there. Jackson over there still just wandering around. Anyway, okay. I think next step, gonna go drive the car around and see if we can't find some gas. What do they say? Any day worth living is a day worth exploring. In that case, we have three quarters of a tank. We're gonna go see if we can't travel around a little bit. Those that are riding with us, please put their seatbelts on. Oh, we're gonna shift into like this option. I'm gonna shift from auto into four wheel drive high. I don't know if that'll click on going backwards, but try not to hit anything backing out of here. Close, aren't we? Make anyone else nervous? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Looking both ways, nobody there. Watching the little kid in the street. It's gonna go. <laughs> Look at this. It's no type of nonsense. People are worried about it being too snowy here and the kids are walking around with their hockey sticks, their shoes and stuff. <sighs> in their sled. So here we go. I mean, this is what it looks like right now. Not. Not bad, snow plow came through earlier. 
cleaned everything all up. I'm not running the heat right now because I don't want, the car's already warmer than everything outside and I don't want to deal with a bunch of ice. Now we are going to put this back in the garage when we get back, but <clears throat> we're going to go drive around for a little bit. I'm going to put you on the time lapse. That's pretty much, I think, gonna be the end of my day outside. I had a small stack of snow there, which will eventually, I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna keep adding to it. We only got somewhere between six inches and a foot today, but we're all cleared out. We went and drove around on the roads, so it's, uh, man, if it could stay 25 and do this, it's 25 right now. It's not that cold out, um, even with the wind chill. Now, it is supposed to get down to negative 5 Fahrenheit tomorrow. And uh, that's going to be cool. So, <laughs> especially with 45 mile an hour winds, negative 5 <laughs> probably feel like negative 20. But I'll be hunkered down inside not being outside for that period of time. So hope you enjoyed this uh, video about just mess around in the snow all day. It's kind of nice to just feel like you got an excuse to go, as my neighbor said, mess around with some toys. I also, when we stopped down there on the time lapse, there was a girl that had her car buried. I had actually, you know, we pulled it out, had my shovel here in the back of the Yukon. And uh, my neighbor's snow bar is not running right. It's just chug, chug, chug. So I don't know if the choke isn't set right, but I don't want to be presumptuous and go over there and say anything, but anything. Anyway, helped a girl get out of the snow. Now, earlier we talked, you saw I stuck this outside. If you've ever hardened off like a, a plant, when it goes like big temperature extremes, usually see a bunch of wilting. I'm curious, I'm just gonna leave it out here. It's not like I'm losing anything, but this little basil guy's getting crushed with light and it's chillier out here. So instead of being a calm 70 degrees in there, you know, it's getting a fluctuation between 55 and sometimes down in the 30s, I'm sure, when I got the door open. But <clears throat> anyway, cool. Hope you're having a great day. Just went over, met the neighbor named Carrie. <laughs> she definitely had her choke wrong. Not that, I mean, like, it just depends on the snow blower, but now that thing is just slamming through snow. They got a thousand dollar snow blower compared to my $200 snow blower and it makes a huge difference. So it's just fun kind of helping people out doing that kind of stuff. I'm going to go inside and watch some football. So see you later. I don't know if I should be concerned that these, this is a, <laughs> come on, focus. What? This covey of quail is sneaking up on our house. Look at them. They're slowly but surely walking up. I don't know whether or not to be concerned, but there is a covey of quail slowly sneaking up on our house. I'm not a T-Rex. I can see things when they're not moving. Look at these guys. Where do you think they're headed? They're headed to the garage. I knew it. You can probably smell delicious meat on the grill. Wait, they're vegetarians. That might not be it. They are picking away at some of the greens that are sticking through the uh, through the snow here though. I don't think I have, I was gonna say if I had some seed, we can go toss that out there. There you go, some of the things that you'll see in North Dakota.